Good evening, Voltage fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Westchester Flames and your Vermont Voltage. Second home game of the evening, of the second home game of the season for the Voltage. Westchester Flames coming to town, one of the storied franchises in USL history. Been in the league for at least nine years, maybe ten. Uh, always have a quality team on the field. Looking for a good game here for the Voltage. And just coming into the, uh, to the booth is Voltage Lady player Amy Benson, who has a few words to say. Amy, how's your Voltage season going so far? It's going well. <laughs> okay, is that all you have to say? Yeah, I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Okay, let's get your commentary on the game as it starts. Amy's being a little bashful. Sam Bailey with a nice cross and across the front. Sam Bailey up top. Chris Zura on the ball, number five. Suli Diallo, Tierno Diallo, number 22. Playing right back position. And the right midfield, it looks like Tierno is playing tonight. The right back, number 17, Brian Leonard. Looks like number eight, James McCarron playing in the middle in the back. And Donnie Mayer at left back, who had a great game last Wednesday night when the Voltage played their home opener. Donnie Mayer was very impressive in the back. Westchester moving the ball around nicely, bringing it forward. They're a very tall central midfielder. Luke Sager plays it long and out of bounds. That'll be a voltage throw. What's going on? I had you on the roster tonight. Yeah, I heard. Bo said you were coming to play. Well, I told him I was coming. Westchester with a good throw in to number two, Charlie Davies. Both teams sorting each other out the first 10 minutes and a long ball from, looks like Mark Benson over at the left back. Very big goalkeeper, Shane Boggess for Westchester. The Flames, number 17, playing in the middle in the back. The long ball, taken well off his body. Good opportunity for the Flames with not much of a shot from the left midfielder. Number 21, Kevin Meyer. Sam Bailey goes down. Chris Zura on the ball. Mark Benson supporting. Deep into the corner from Vichilano to Bailey with a nice cross. No one there. Chris Zura with some excellent pressure on Meyer. And Westchester seems to want to play the ball long and through to number two. Ooh. Nice play from Westchester. Composure by number two on the ball, Charlie Davies. Good cross. Back out to Meyer on the left side. Voltage lucky to get out of that one with no score. So the Voltage get lucky to get out of that one with no score. Brian Leonard on the ball. 
At number 12 in the midfield, Anthony Sepe. Chris Sura with Benson. Up to Bailey with a nice through ball to Stedman. Big Luke Sager defending. Stedman trying to go to goal. He's almost through. Stedman with a fine effort there. A little unlucky. Defending from Mayard. Charlie Davies, very tricky, skillful player. Very long throw in into the middle of the box. Brendan Lawless up and takes it cleanly. Lawless played Wednesday night and had a good showing in a 1-1 draw against the Cape Cod Crusaders, one of the stronger teams in the league. Leonard on the ball for the throw, tries to get it to Stedman, a weak throw. Forenza to Vicilano, to Stedman, back to Forenza. And it's out of bounds. Stedman putting pressure on Sager. Back to Vicilano, to Leonard. Leonard, too much on that ball. Easily taken by Bogus for the Flames. Throws it wide to number three, Brian Karitsky on the left back position. He goes long, played through. McCumber, not McCumber, McCallum playing a central spot in the back for the voltage. Diallo in a foot race, pushes number 21 blatantly and doesn't get the call. Number nine, tricky player with a very long optimistic shot that had not much on it. Joshua Trott, number nine in midfield. Zura controlling the ball in the middle and then losing it. Well taken by Zura. He can't control. Westchester moves it across the field to number three, Karitsky. To Meyer and around. To Sager. Westchester doing a nice job taking their time moving the ball around the field.
Benson with the throw to Bailey. Bailey goes long. Forenza, not a great cross from Mike Forenza, looking for Stedman. Easily taken by Shane Boggess. Up to Sager. Foul on Westchester. That'll be voltage ball. Benson with an interesting ball across to Suli. Number 10, Altchek down in the left corner, defended by McComber. Yeah, tough ball, yeah, tough ball, yeah. saved by Lawless. Bicycle kick. An exciting play there. Number two, Charlie Davies. Very interesting player. Sager heads it back safely to the back. Well, long driven ball from Sager. Westchester retains. Back to the voltage. McCumber on the ball. Blocked. Plays it too slowly. Blocked by Meyer. Meyer and McCumber battling in the corner. And McCumber plays it out. Leonard to Forenza. Forenza does nothing with it. Westchester having the better of the play at this point. Forenza comes in and knocks it out of bounds. Foul on Vichilano there. Looks like we'll have a direct kick from 35 yards. Charlie Davies on the ball. Chips it in nicely. Voltage trying to clear. Donnie Mayard on the ball. With a good clearance. Westchester intercepts. Mayard still on the ball to Benson. Back to Bailey. Bailey goes way long and out of bounds. Zura putting good pressure on the midfield. Yeah. 
Diallo with good pressure and the ball's out of bounds. That'll be voltage throw. Brian Leonard came, comes to take the throw to Vicilano. Tries to get it to Stedman. Nice cross ball to Bailey. Bailey playing with a lot of pace out there on the wing. Benson on the ball. Mayer back to Benson. Uh, Benson with an inadequate cross. Gets played through to Stedman. Stedman's on the ball. And he's knocked out of bounds. A wide throw. Nice play from Vicilano. Looks like Bailey gets in a little tussle out at the right midfield slot. That'll be a voltage direct kick from 55 yards. And the crowd still filing in here to Collins Pearly Sports Complex. St. Albans, Vermont, and a nice early summer evening. Clear blue skies for once. Fields seem to have drained well after three weeks of rain. Bogus with a long kick. Played well by Diallo. Zura. In a battle with number nine. With a great right footed shot, just barely wide. Joshua Trot. A good show of skill there, just missing the post by four inches. Bailey with a great header forward for Stedman. Through ball, Forenza can't get to it. Stedman's on it. Zura with a good bid down to Bailey in the corner. Sager playing it. Bailey defending. Sager plays it back to number 25. Mayard struggling with it a little bit at his feet. And they play it up to Charlie Davis, the speedster on top of the top of the Westchester formation. Salim Lewis, number 25, playing right back. Long kick from Lawless, controlled by Westchester. Chris Sura defending. Salim Lewis on the right side with a throw in. Very long throw in into the near post. Nice header on to Lawless who takes it easily. Lawless with a high spinning kick, tough to control. Just a reminder, all of your summer camp, summer soccer camp needs are available on www.vermontvoltage.com. Vermont Voltage Summer Soccer Camps, all summer long, 
45 locations throughout Vermont and northern New York. Go to vermontvoltage.com. Westchester with another long throw in. Cleared by Lawless. Left footed long bomb taken by number seven, Frederick Schramm. A little bit of a optimistic shot there from Schramm from 40 yards. Lawless with a goal kick. Stedman knocked down, trying to receive that ball. Stedman with a nice ball, tries to get it through to Forenza. Good work from Stedman. Lorenzo waiting for Diallo for the throw-in. Stedman in the box, trying to get open. Takes a left-footed shot, blocked by Westchester. Vichulano saves it to Leonard. Diallo with a nice ball. Forenza getting it through to Stedman. Westchester controlling, coming forward. Smith, Mayer plays it out. Westchester work, taking their time, being patient, moving the ball forward. Michelano gives it up unintentionally, and Westchester controls. Nice head ball through. 21 moving on to it, Kevin Meyer. But Brendan Lawless comes up with a good save. Lawless with a punt out of the back. Benson defending number seven, Frederick Schramm. Good job on the defense. Number nine, number nine Trot with another left-footed blast blocked at the 18. Charlie Davies, number two, with a brilliant rocket saved by Lawless. And number 10 with a follow up, Alcek. Some, some strong sign of offensive firepower from the Westchester Flames. Voltage doing well to defend. Good, good goal keeping from Brendan Lawless. Forenza trying to get it across, intercepted by Smith. Karitsky, number three. Forenza wide open on the right. Trying to go all the way across with a good ball to Bailey. Bailey tries to take a long one. And Smith clears long, and that will go out of bounds.
If you're looking for a financial partner, you the Peabody Trust Company. Thank you. Now serving you at six convenient locations in St. Albans, Swanton, Georgia, and Edinburgh. Benson doing Peabody well on the sideline. Can't quite connect with Bailey. Cumber drills it out of bounds. Probably could have done better with that. corner kick for Westchester. Benson defending, doing a good job. Davies on the ball, outswinger. Westchester with several very tall players getting in on the header. Lawless with a goal kick. The stands continuing to fill here at Collins Pearly Sports Complex for the second game of the season at home. Stedman coming in hard. Thank you. Are you warm enough? In the middle of the field. Could have been a yellow card and the ref didn't see it. And it looks like we'll play on. Davies on the ball all the way back in a defensive position. Chips it up and long. Lawless with a good save. Lawless struggling with his punt. That'll be headed out of bounds. Bogus playing the ball out of the back on the ground to Lewis. Lewis shanking his cross. Forenze intercepting, gets it through to Vichulano. And the voltage lose it in midfield. Up to Davies on the left side. Davies, a very tricky player. Davies with a very tricky play. And cleared by Leonard. Sager to the right side. Number seven, Frederick Schramm, showing some technique over in the right corner. Defended well. And we have another corner kick for Westchester. Voltage not really getting their offense up and running yet so far tonight. 
as we're 29 minutes into the game. That's a long corner. Westchester con controls on the far side again. And that ball was out of bounds. Lawless with a goal kick. Some very tricky and skillful players here on this Westchester team, particularly up front. Cumber with a long ball deep to Forenza. Forenza can't control it, and that's out of bounds. White Westchester throw. That'll be out of bounds and a voltage throw. Moments of rhythm in this game for the voltage and moments of disorganization and ball chasing so far. Davies putting pressure on Leonard. Forenza plays it out of bounds. Westchester throw. Anthony Sepe over to Lewis. Lewis into number nine. Joshua Trott still on the ball, left-footed yes! blast into the yes! corner with a solid left-footed blast from the 18, turning a couple of voltage players inside out, and there you have it, 1-0 Westchester. So there we are, Westchester 1-0. Here, 32 minutes into the first half. With a nice play from Joshua Trott. And we'll see if the voltage can recover. Lewis playing it back to Sager. Sepe Anthony on the ball, trying to get through to number seven. Forenza on the ball, trying to get it to Stedman without any luck. Smith on the right side, giving it away to Benson. Benson giving it away. Bailey defending from behind. Davies comes back to take these kicks. It's interesting why he's coming back this far. I'm sure there's more than one person on this team that can ship the ball. Cleared by Diallo out of bounds. That'll be corner kick for the Flames. Coming in, in swinger, low and hard. Stedman. Stedman fouled, and Zura will take the ball, and he leaves it for McCoy. McCumber. McCumber to Leonard. Hey. 
Vichilano to Benson on the left side. Benson back to Vichilano. Not quite getting the ball over the top to Bailey, and Westchester retains possession. Laid off nicely for Davies, and back to number 10. Lorenza with a nice ball through to Bailey. Bailey runs into the goalie. Ball comes free and then it's knocked out of bounds. Referee, make, referee makes no call. Good work from Forenza. Benson with a good cross in. Still in bounds. Forenza pressuring the ball. Diallo and Leonard defending. Charlie Davies. Davies probably the trickiest player on the field, most dangerous. Lewis with a long ball into Lawless. Lawless will bring it up to the top of the box. Bailey with a nice through ball to Forenza. Can he cut the corner? Oh! Takes an errant shot. He could have cut that ball in. Forenza could have kept that ball on the ground. Westchester will bring it out. Boggus plays it long over Maynard. McCumber. You play it back. Long ball to Forenza, who will not get it. Stedman putting pressure. Mayard with a nice steal off of Davies. To, for, to Zura. Zura working hard on the left side. Plays it back to Benson. Benson has some space. Looking for help. And he goes back to Vichulano. Mike plays it nicely to Stedman, and Stedman can't control the ball with his first touch. Leonard going in hard. Doesn't get the ball. McCumber clears. Forenza. Voltage struggling to maintain possession for more than three passes right now. Donnie Mayard puts it up in the air out of danger temporarily. Headed nicely from number nine, Trot, the goal scorer, Joshua Trot. Davies working on Leonard, and Leonard does a good job defending.
Benson clears it out nicely on the deep in the corner. Hey, pitch. Cocky. <laughs> pitch, come on up here. Lawless with a goal kick. Bailey, well done. Into Stedman and Forenza. Forenza misses him. Tries to maintain possession. Forenza not getting the ball to his open players. Nice effort from Bailey and Stedman. Davies. <laughs> Mayard marking very well. Number 10, Alchek, Charles Alchek. Cross to Smith on the right side. Trot with a bomb of a left foot again. That guy is unstoppable with his left foot. Vichilano with a battle in the middle. Had it and then loses it. Nice chipped to Davies. Looking for help and here it comes. Trying to get it to trot with a big left foot. Bailey going through to Forenza. Too far away. Forty-two minutes gone in the first half. And we're still 1-0. Westchester Flames 1, Vermont Voltage 0. Here at the Collins Purley, Collins Purley Sports Complex. A beautiful evening here in St. Albans. Crowd still filing in. Looks like the stands are about three quarters full tonight. Westchester Flames putting on a very good show. Voltage struggling to stay with them at the moment. I'm sure they'll be making changes for the second half. Nice chip down deep into the left side, number 21. Kevin Meyer. Anthony Seppe with the throw. And another long throw. That ball is out of bounds. That'll be a goal kick. Lawless with a driven ball out into some space. Bailey trying to win the ball, battling with Lewis. Referee calls it for the Flames. Yala with a nice clear to Stedman. 
Stedman seems to be battling one on three every time the ball comes near him. Nice interception from Vichilano. Plays it long to Stedman and it's too long. Voltage struggling to link passes through to the, to the forwards from the midfield. When the referee calls halftime, Westchester Flames leading your Vermont Voltage 1-0. We'll check back with you as soon as the second half starts. Remember Vermont Voltage Soccer Camps, www.vermontvoltage.com. And welcome back to the second half of tonight's match between the Westchester Flames and the Vermont Voltage. Right now, currently we're at 1-0. Westchester leading Vermont with a score in the 28th minute by number Nine, Joshua Trott with a bomb with his left foot from 18 yards. Unstoppable shot. Looking to see if the Voltage have made any changes in the lineup. It doesn't look like it as of yet. Although it might, we might have a goalie change. Hard to tell from this vantage point if there is a goalie change. It does look like there's been a goalie change. I'll check on that for you. See if the Voltage will be able to control the ball any more than they did in the first half. Benson, Mark Benson with the ball here on the list left side. Stedman trying to maintain possession, looking for support, and he has it with Zura. Out to Brian Leonard. Leonard plays it up well to Vichilano. Diallo at the right midfield spot. Battling with number 21, Travis Meyer. Not Travis, Kevin Meyer, excuse me. A reminder that the, lady, the next Lady Voltage home game is 28, which is the New Hampshire Lady Fans. Through ball to Stedman, and he might win this one, and just misses it at the end. Battling, and the ball goes out of bounds. Voltage throw. Stedman with a good battle there with number 17, Kyle Richards. Haven't heard much from Richards this game. Westchester with control. Davies on the far left side. Plays it through to 21, Sepe. Good battle from Zura to win the ball. Diallo moving over in the middle, gets it to Bailey. Bailey gets past Davies. Sam Bailey has a lot of pace with a great cross and a good save. Nice ball from Sam Bailey. Leonard dives in and loses it as Davies turns him then dribbles out of bounds. Voltage throw in. Leonard throws in McComber to Zura, over to Benson on the left side. Benson looking for help. Donnie Mayer plays it. Now they're in trouble. Mayer steals the ball, plays it back. Up to Stedman who can't get to it. Coming into the booth here at this Voltage game, young Aaron Picciatino, 19-year-old Burlington, Vermont resident, Burlington High School graduate, current freshman, soon to be sophomore at the University of Vermont. One of the uh, strong young players on the Lady Voltage roster. Played tonight to a 5-0 win over the Sudbury Canadians. Aaron, how was the game tonight against Sudbury? How did you feel? Well, Hutch, at first it was a little slow, but we picked it up towards the end of the first half. 
And um, we really put some big ones in the back of the net towards the, towards the end of the first half, beginning of the second. Well, Aaron, it sounds to me like you might have a future in the radio broadcasting business if you desire it. I'd like to think so. <laughs> How's your experience been with the Voltage so far this summer, the Lady Voltage? Um, it's been really awesome, actually, playing not only with great players on our own team, but playing some against some great players, like a lot of the Canadian players that were on the national team from Toronto. And it's been a lot of fun just playing our first home game. Doubleheader, a lot of fans tonight. A lot of good energy here. Yeah, it's a pretty nice uh, atmosphere here tonight for the second home opener. Beautiful evening here in Collins Purley in St. Albans. Um, how does the league play with the Lady Voltage differ from your UVM Division I soccer? Um, well, I'd say the atmosphere is a lot different in itself. Um, it's a lot more professional. It just feels like you're really part of like a professional team, and it's not you don't feel like you're in college. And also, um, it's, the play is a lot faster, especially with um, the last game we played with Toronto was really fast. Montreal, excuse me, Quebec. Um, yeah, it was really fast, a lot faster. Um, make a lot of runs on the outside. It's not. It's more of a team game too. It's not like every team has one good player. It's really a team effort. Yeah, it seems like the Lady Vultures have been able to come together as a team pretty well, and everybody enjoys each other's company. They work hard for each other. And uh, something I look forward to is seeing all the other players that are out there playing at a higher level. And uh, from my perspective, it's from my perspective, it's great to be able to see the younger players, young Vermont players like yourself, Caitlin Francis, um, Ashley Pfaff. Who else is on the team that's young and from Vermont? Well, there's a couple oh, old people that are young, that are Amy. old. Amy Benson, uh, Chris Amy Cochran. Amy Cochran, she's from New Hampshire. She played at Vermont. But she did play at UVM. Christine. Uh, Christine Brasso is a 26 year old woman, married and resurrecting her soccer career, a Vermont native. Doing quite well. It's going to be an exciting season. I think we're just getting our offense set, and I think we should be expecting a couple more goals in the upcoming games. Well, that's good to hear because that's certainly uh, the plan from my point of view, being the coach of the team. Our only real weakness right now has been being able to put the ball in the back of the net. I Defensively, think set we're. Plays also. Yep, set plays we need to work <laughs> on. But we've been pretty solid in the black back. Of course, having L Kristen Luckenville, one of the best goalies in the world on our team, certainly makes us strong coming right out of the back. That's true. So if you had some advice for any young Vermont girls watching this show, what would it be in terms of improving their game and striving someday to play for the Lady Voltage? What would your advice be? Um, I'd say that to play every day, no matter what, even if it's just going outside by yourself, juggling the ball, um, and also don't get discouraged ever. Um, if, you have, if you're on a team, maybe you don't win all the time, but it's really just the experience getting out there and playing every day. Okay, there's some good advice, all of you young female players out here. From uh, Aaron Picciatino, 19-year-old native of Burlington, Vermont, Burlington High School graduate, doing very well in the Lady Voltage this year, and one of the up-and-coming stars of the University of Vermont women's soccer program. Aaron, thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Hutch. And we'll catch up with you at training on Tuesday. Can't wait. Okay. Take care. Thanks, Hutch. You stand up here all the time? Thanks, Hutch. Right. Maybe I'll do it again. Okay. You get more snacks, though. So, during that interview, we had a flurry of action at both ends of the field. Bo Vucevic has come onto the field in substitution for Tierno Diallo. I'm sure Vucevic will be looking to add some more offensive punch. That seems to be what's lacking right now tonight from the Voltage players. Low driven corner, and it's deflected. Joshua Trot looks like Trot has scored again on a deflection. Missed man marking there. So the voltage all of a sudden are in a hole. 2-0, 53 minutes gone in this game. Oh, 
Always a tough situation when there's a scramble in front of the goal to figure out who should have been covering who and what happened. But the Voltage have their backs up against the wall now. We've got Matt Stedman and Bo Vucevic. Vucevic dumping the ball down in. Don't quite understand that. Puts the Voltage going backwards right from the beginning. Lewis on the near side. Trying to get through to Joshua Trot. Give it up. That's enough. McComber over to Leonard. Leonard to Vucevic. Out to Zura on the right. Back to Leonard. Leonard to Vucevic in the middle. There we go. Vucevic to Vichulano. Through ball to Bailey. Hey, ref, would you watch the game out there? It's a great game if you look at it. Vichulano with a nice ball through to Bailey. Bailey struggling to get around his defender. Bogus with a very long kick. In Benson's direction. Donnie Mayard plays it up and out. Vucevic should be able to bring some control into the midfield. We've already seen several forays where he's been able to control the ball, maintain possession, and get the ball going sideways for other voltage players with the idea to try to get it cleaner and easier ball to the forwards. Certainly lacking some midfield control up to this point in the match. Cumber with a nice play over to Leonard. Pressure from number 10 and he steals. Charles Altchek with a nice play in the danger zone. Forenza to McCumber. McCumber trying to get through to Forenza stolen. Vichilano back to Leonard. Trying to get the ball. There it is to Vucevic. Stedman battling. Vichilano comes in. Josh Trot trying to get clear with the ball. Not sure what that foul was, perhaps offsides, but he didn't look even close to offsides from here. Joshua Trot lining up his left foot. Oh, and it's deflected. Good save by the voltage goalie. Bailey to Vucevic. Michelano. And the fans are going crazy here at Collins Spurley. Forenza with a very long cross. That'll play out of bounds. Westchester throwing. Lewis defending well. Number seven, Frederick Sherman. Frederick Schramm, excuse me. So number 10. Charles Altchek putting some good time on the ball in the second half here. This is Josh Trot on the ball again. Totally missed by Leonard. Trouble. Charlie Davies. 
Terrible mistake by Brian Leonard and Charlie Davies makes the voltage pay with a very experienced goal. And that puts the voltage deep into a 3 0 hole. Charlie Davies, high quality player from the Westchester Flames. Feel bad for Brian Leonard making that mistake, that unintentional mistake, and getting punished for it. But it's all part of the learning process. Lorenza turns and puts one way over the bar. Shane Bogus will have a goal kick here, coming shortly. Vucevic to Stedman, loses control. Zura tracking back well, stealing the ball from Trotman. Trot. Charlie Davis steals the ball and breezes past McCumber does well to save the ball, come up with it, and move it forward successfully. Quality play from McCumber. It's Bailey to Zura to Vucevic. Voltage goalie playing it up on the ground. McComber to Mayard to Zura. Vichilano. Vucevic. Stolen. Leonard giving it away. Westchester changes fields and that'll be out of bounds. Looks like Jason Wagner will be coming on. Number six, David Purser coming on for Mark Benson. At left back position perhaps. Wagner coming on for Mike Vicilano. Jason Wagner played for the Voltage two years ago. And it is David Purser, defender from Boston, England. Playing his college ball at Virginia Intermont. Coached by former Voltage player Danny Balaguerro. Zura to Vucevic. Blocked by number 12, Anthony Seppe. Foul on Wagner. Westchester kick. Sepe plays it to Lewis. Lewis can't control. Vucevic with a nice ball to Stedman. Stedman with a nice ball to Forenza, but he can't quite control it. And he does. 
And that'll be a voltage throw. Definite change of pace from the voltage since Vucicovic has come on. It's going to take a left-footed shot. And a great save from Bogus. A few people mixing it up down there. Sam Bailey in tight. Some of the Westchester players thinking that Bailey was a little too aggressive. Great save from Bogus. And a great shot from Vucicovic. Not off by much. Purser with a good strong header. Central referee going to the sideline looking for advice from the assistant ref. I must say this referee has looked clueless more than once tonight. And he does give Purser a yellow card. taking his time here to make a decision. A sure, a sure sign from my point of view that he doesn't really know what he's doing, but uh, that's just my opinion. It looks like we'll finally get a kick here. Luke Sager. Sager plays it short to Lewis, back to Sager. Vucicovic takes it quickly, almost gets it through to Ferenza. Wagner with a nice ball to Zura. Zura to Bailey, back to Zura. Over to Wagner. Wagner's ball deflected. Wagner just coming onto the field. Great cross. Forenza could, had time to put the ball in. Ball stolen from Vucicovic on a bad pass from Forenza. Donnie Mayard with a good strong tackle. Zura takes him down in the middle of the field to slow down the play. The Westchester kick. We're in the 67th minute here at Collins Pearly Sports Complex. The Westchester Flames coming to town. Currently have a 3-0 lead over the hometown voltage. Sager, a long ball to McComber. McComber struggling a little bit. Mayer gets it to Purser. Purser fouled by number seven from Westchester. Schram, Frederick Schram. Purser's on the ball. Long left footed towards Sam Bailey. Zora to Vucicovic. Referee seems to be calling everything now. Unfortunate sign of lack of experience at a higher level of play. Defense, defense. 
Vucevic with a long direct kick. 35 yards out, and he's not off by much. You'd have to say that's one of his specialties. The ball's always going to the upper left corner. Close to half the time, it does go in from that spot on the field. But for now, it's just a goal kick, Bogus. Long ball to the far side to Charlie Davies. Westchester looking to play it long. Smith started his run and then stopped. That'll be a voltage throw. Sager on the ball. Plays it to Smith. A little miscommunication there. Back to Sager. To Smith. Cleared by Mayard. Westchester corner kick, 71 minutes in. This Premier Development League league matchup. And that's well over the Westchester players. They maintain possession on the far side. Bailey with a tackle, cleared by Wagner. Westchester lining up a long throw. Cleared out nicely by the voltage, but no one there to win the ball. Smith plays it in. Forenza, Bailey gets it up to Vucevic, to Stedman. Stedman maintains possession to Zura. Sura with a nice ball to Stedman. Stedman can't turn and it's taken off him by number 12, Anthony Seppe. Ref, come on already. Kevin Meyer on the far side. Vucevic with the ball, quickly over to Purser. Zura in the middle to Vucevic. Nice run from Wagner with an early cross. Good attempt from Stedman. Vucevic able to maintain possession in the middle and get some composure on the field with a nice ball to Wagner.
Zura looks like a long ball through to Bailey. Bailey can't quite get there. Voltage have been able to put some more pressure on the Westchester goal this half since Vucevic has been able to come on. Mayard battling in the middle. Long ball to Meyer. Purser defending. A nice left footed cross, a little long for Charlie Davies on the far side. And he Charlie Davies schooling a little bit on the far side. Westchester still in control. Shot deflected. Davies is intent on getting another shot. And oh, what a save by Mayard. Westchester with a wide open gold. Not able to put it in. Donnie Mayard putting his body on the line there. Stedman can't get it through to Forenza. Forenza pressuring the goalie, almost steals one as the goalie slips slightly. Mayard with a nice header to Purser. To, to Vucevic. To Wagner. Wagner looking for a cross and that's gonna be out of bounds. Seppi with the ball, up to Trot. Trot playing it over the top to Davies, and it's a little long. Through ball, Westchester not quite good enough. Westchester with a long high cross. Purser intercepts it and clears it nicely. Over the head of Sam Bailey. Trot. Azura battling to maintain. Joshua Trot. Strong on the ball. Vuchkovic going down the middle. Can't quite get it through to, to Forenza. Bailey battling. Sager with the ball. That'll be a through ball, errant going out of bounds. Westchester starting to show some signs of fatigue. While the voltage still seem to have plenty of energy and plenty of legs in this game. Westchester has the unenviable task of traveling to Ottawa tomorrow to play the Ottawa Fury in another PDL league game, Ottawa Fury, one of the better teams in the league. 
And without putting any substitutions on the field so far, this is going to be a tired 11 by the time they step on the field tomorrow in Ottawa. McComber with a long clear. And the ball's out of bounds. Wojcikowicz coming all the way back to get the ball. Aaron pass forward intercepted by Sepe. Up to Shram. Quickly out to Zura. Nice ball to Stedman. Stedman with a great ball to Bailey, and Bailey just shoots wide of the post. He's calling for a corner, but I don't think he's going to get it. Vushkovic lining himself up for a shot. Can't quite get it. McComber misplays. Sura playing far. Doesn't quite get it. Wagner with a strong tackle on the far side. That'll be a throw in for Westchester. Ferenza. Ferenza taking down 21. Kevin Meyer. We've got about eight minutes to play, plus stoppage time in this league game between the Westchester Flames and the Vermont Voltage. Currently, Westchester leads 3-0. to zero. Voltage not having much offensive firepower this evening. Westchester having considerable firepower with a lot of skill. Organized team, very organized in the back, and excellent goalkeeping. Long shot from Kevin Meyer, nicely handled by the Voltage goalkeeper. Davies with a corner kick goes out of bounds. Another corner. Now they take a short corner. Davies with a ball. Dangerous on the sideline. He's all over the place. Putting on a clinic here in the 18-yard box of the voltage. Right. 
Number 21, Kevin Meyer on the field, taken out pretty hard by one of the Voltage players. Camila Verissimo has entered the announcer's box tonight. Camila, how was your game today? How did the Lady Voltage do? Very good game. We, the team played very good. Okay. And it uh, looked to me like you were playing on the outside of the midfield. How did you like that? I like him to play outside midfield because I play in college, but it's hard. The number, the outside midfield, the other team he run a lot and it's so hard, but it's okay. I like him. Yeah, it's quite a bit of running on the outside of the midfield. How about tonight's game with the Voltage and the Westchester Flames? You've been watching this game? Yeah, it's, it's a very good game and it's very fast and strong. It's impressive. Yeah, it seems like Westchester has a number of very highly skilled and quick quick players, uh, particularly Charlie Davies playing up top, putting on a clinic out there in the 18-yard box. It's exciting to watch this here all the way up in Vermont, Westchester Flames. Brendan Lawless with a goal kick. Stedman and Zura controls. Aaron Pass trying to get to Sam Bailey and misplayed. Shane Boggess slowing the clock down here. In no hurry. Any bombs one up the field. David Purser underneath it. Vucevic can't quite get to it. And he does end up stealing. Quick ball through to Forenza with foot race. Played out of bounds smartly by the Flames. Look at about four minutes plus stoppage time left in this game. Wagner getting a weak left footed shot off. Should be a corner. And they call a corner. Donnie Mayer coming in. And Brian Leonard. And Westchester brings on their first sub of the game, number six, Kevin Riemann. Not sure who's coming off. Well, number 21, Kevin Meyer came off. And that was an errant shot from Vucevic. Goal kick for Bogus in the Flames. Mayered up strong on the ball and wins it. Can't quite get it through to Forenza. And long through ball. And goal number four on a breakaway. Nice through ball from the left back. Looks like that's scored by Charlie Alchek. Nice finish and a great through ball from the left back. Can't quite make out who that is. Karitsky with the assist, Brian Karitsky, number three, the left back. So the voltage go down four to zero with approximately two minutes to play plus stoppage time. Oh, Chris Zura. Making a mistake. Zura gets it to Vucevic. Vucevic takes another long shot. I think at this point in the season, Vucevic might need to get the ball in five or six more yards before he's going to have enough strength in his leg to blast that into the corner. Just my opinion. And the fans start to file out of Collins Pearly Sports Complex. Had quite a day of soccer here in northern Vermont with the Lady Voltage victorious over the Sudbury Canadians 
And it looks like the men's voltage team is going to go down to defeat to the Westchester Flames, a very quality team. Throw in for Sam Bailey. Gets it to Vucevic. Over to Leonard. Leonard looking for some help. Gets out to Wagner. Or that's Ferenza. McCumber playing tightly on Davies. Davies a little frustrated with a close contact. Oh my God, you're kidding. I don't know how that got called that direction. This referee has definitely lost direction. Somehow, after Davies almost had his legs broken underneath him. Another through ball, tough ball. Purser, oh, what a finish. Number seven, Frederick Schramm, the nice finish on a good through ball. Getting behind the voltage defense and handily putting it past Brendan Lawless. So the Voltage are looking at a 5-0 defeat, and we are into stoppage time. And that's the game. Not much stoppage time. Okay, Leo. Good to see you. So this is... The end of the Vermont Voltage versus the Westchester Flames. Flames winning 5-0. Thanks for watching. This is Jamie Hutchins signing off for the Vermont Voltage. www.vermontvoltage.com for all your summer soccer camp information. Thanks for watching.